Hey, this is Jamal and today I show you how to render specular materials in RenderMan in just two minutes. First I want to tell you something which confused me very long and this is primary specular and rough specular. Those are totally the same, they work in the same way and look the same. Um, these things are just good to blend two different materials together so if your primary specular material is a different than your rough specular material. Let's start with artistic mode. This mode is not physically correct, but very easy to handle. First, make sure that your diffuse gain is set to zero. Face color colorizes the inner part and edge color the outer part of your metal. With Fresnel exponent, you can balance the parameters of face color and edge color a bit. And I think I don't need to say what roughness does. In advanced settings, you can find two different specular models. Backman is more mirrored than GGX, but to me GGX looks always better than Backman. You can only see an effect on anisotrophy if there is a roughness on your mesh. With that you can affect the shape of your specular highlights and reflectations. Let's jump into physical mode. If you want to have a realistic looking metal material, then edge color should stay white. If you left click to refraction index, you can find a bunch of presets. If you want to have a metal material, they need to be set on extension coefficient 2. If you want to find out the values from other materials, then there is this cool site here, refractiveindex.info. But how that actually works, I will show you in another tutorial. And that was everything I wanted to show you in this short tutorial. So thank you for watching and see you the next time.